Velvet Red features the hottest Hollywood movies, television shows, and your favorite celebrities. Velvet Red gets you, the fan, behind the velvet rope at Hollywood premieres and VIP events. Velvet Red features the latest fashion trends and the coolest gadgets being used by the celebrities you love. But that's not all. By working closely with celebrities, Velvet Red gets you exclusive deals and amazing discounts. And all you have to do is log on to velvetredcard.com. Hi, I'm your host, Ellen Kay, and this week, Velvet Red was at the premiere of DreamWorks Real Steel, where we had a chance to interview Hugh Jackman and the rest of the cast. It's electric here, Ellen. We're on the Velvet Red carpet. It's the world premiere. Real Steel, Hugh Jackman's limousine has just pulled up and it's so exciting and you're going to be here, the fan, to check out all the inside happenings. Are you ready for Real Steel? Real Steel is an action film about futuristic robot boxers. Is that Noisy Boy? I want to know. That's Noisy Boy! It has amazing cinematography from director Sean Levy and executive producer Steven Spielberg. As a boxer, Charlie was the top contender number two in the world. Then the fight game changed. But it's not just an action film, it's a movie that touches your heart. Your son, what life lessons could he take from seeing a movie like Real Steel? It's about believing in yourself. What do you got, Finn? He can take anybody in this place, you know. <laughs> Not focusing so much about the result of winning or losing, but participating in life and about believing in yourself. His name is Adam. Get him a fight. As a father, I want nothing more of my kids. It's a movie about family and the need to fight for your loved ones to keep your family together. I think the cool thing about playing Bailey was that she is the softness in the film because it's all boys and robots and rah rah yeah. and beat them up, bang them up. She's sort of like a bit of relief from that. Relax, Kitty's on our side. Not funny. Yeah, kind of funny. It's an underdog tale, and if we've done our job right. It's about the heart as much as it is about the action. It's about the love and the compassion and the triumph and the victory over so many obstacles. I think that Dakota Goyo, the Canadian star who plays Hugh Jackman's son, stole the show and he's only 12 years old. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I'm either coming with you or you're fishing for your keys in the sewer. Oh my God, that was close. Stop. Whoa! Stubborn kid. All right, nobody knows these robots are like you. I want you to break each one down for me, okay? Let's start with... Ambush. He's big. He fights a bull in the beginning. I think that's his only fight in the movie because he gets totally uh, killed and punished. All right, give me something about Midas. He's very cocky. He's a show off. Noisy Boy. Noisy Boy is the coolest looking robot you'll ever see in the movie, in my opinion. Whoa. Zeus. Zeus, the biggest robot, biggest, baddest uh, robot crunching in the head robot. He's amazing. Adam. Adam, he's got a heart. When you're working with him for four months like I did, he feels like a real a real person. He feels like my co-star. He feels like a person to me. And you just you just start feeling for the robots like humans. This is what it's all about. We can't win, can we? We'll see. Velvet Red gives fans the ultimate VIP pass, the Velvet Red card. Simply log on to velvetredcard.com and sign up for your chance to win the card that gives you access to exclusive Hollywood events and the chance to act like a celebrity behind the velvet rope. Velvet, velvet Red, Red Card Access Granted! Welcome to the after party, Real Steel. I'm here with Nicole, Melissa, Meredith, and Caroline. Now, they are here for a reason. Melissa, tell us your story right now. Well, we logged on to velvetredcar.com, registered, and here we are today. All right. Well, let's go to Caroline on the end. Caroline, what did you think of Real Steel? Um, I thought it was amazing. There was a great father-son story, and it was action-packed. Okay, let's go over the robots and figure out which is your favorite. Okay, we got Adam, Ambush, Midas, Noisy Boy, Zeus. What's your favorite one? I, I enjoyed Noisy Boy. I thought, you know, his colors and how he was from, uh, how he went around the world and from Japan. I thought that was pretty cool. Gravity slam uptown! <laughs> 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 
But I think, you know, you gotta go for the underdog, which is Adam. Can we get him a fight? He's a sparring bot. Built to take a lot of hits, but never dishing out any real punishment. Would you think that would be a cool stocking stuffer? Totally. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> In addition to Hollywood events, Velvet Red Card features the latest fashion trends and gadgets used by celebrities. Welcome to VelvetRedCard.com. We are here at the Citadel Outlet Mall in Southern Hello. California. I'm Ellen Kay. And I'm Leo Quinones. And right behind us, Ellen, is Ambush, the actual robot from DreamWorks Real Steel. What an exciting day. Exactly. We're giving away a $1,000 shopping wow. spree to American Apparel, our partner in this. And the first 102 people here get to go see Real Steel, which is number one at the box office. It's an amazing day. We're also offering great deals on American Apparel merchandise. For $20, you get a $40 gift card, so everyone wins today. Wait a minute, that sounds to me <laughs> a lot like 50% off, Ellen. It is, exactly. All right. here's the action. What do we got? Um, the Velvet Red Card winner is Camille. Oh, oh. Job, interview, interview. Congratulations. Oh. Now, do you have kids or are you going to spend this whole thousand dollars at American Apparel on yourself? I was just telling him the same thing. I said, I'm going to buy all this stuff for the kids. That's fantastic because this goes a long way. Great. Do you have any favorites at American Apparel that you have your eyes on? You know, not right now, but I'm sure in a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you to American Apparel once again. And there's going to be so many great deals here at velvetredcard.com. You don't know if it's going to be from Justin Bieber or Hugh Jackman or Beyonce. Just keep logging on and we'll have great deals for you, up to 50% off every time. The energy is amazing. We're on the Hollywood Walk of Fame right here. My name's Leo Quinones. I'm King of Phillips. And welcome to velvetredcard.com. This is where we make you feel and look like a celebrity. Now, how are we gonna do that, Kinga? Well, Leah, we're gonna do it right here on real Hollywood style. And Leah knows better than anyone that on the velvet red carpets of Hollywood, mm -hmm. the stars like to look as glam as possible. But in their everyday lives, even the hottest celebs like to take a much more casual approach to their threads. And the best place to do that is in a store like this one right behind us, American Apparel, where you can get the most classic, the hottest looks, the sexiest looks, in a casual sense. And for a fraction of the cost. A fraction of the cost, and it's all made here in downtown Los Angeles. Something you can wear and be proud of, and you are going to give us some of the looks and how we can save a ton of money and have a great time, and you're going to make me look like Hugh Jackman. I sure am. You wow. ready for that? That's a lot of work. Here Let's we go. go. What do you like to wear, like just normal knock-around stuff? That's a good question. Um, so look what, yeah, not dissimilar to you, man. I go pretty casual. I was even told tonight was casual. But my wife has a thing for stockbrokers, so occasionally when I can, I put on a suit. <laughs> it's a good bet. Kinga, the thing about Hugh Jackman is he owns so many different looks. I mean, from Broadway to tuxedo to beach bum. The guy just wears it all. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I think he's just a normal bloke. He is, he is. And I know that every time you've seen him on the red carpet, he is dressed to the nines. It's not easy. Sure. But the truth is, the man's an Aussie. So by default, mm -hmm. his everyday style is really casual. Every time I see a photo of him snapped out with his family, out just hanging out, he is very low key. So I've pulled a couple things that I wanted to show you here. Now, the classic American apparel piece is the t-shirt. And I would also say this is the classic, yeah, I know you're trying to look like Hugh Jackman. This is also the classic Hugh Jackman look. Now, below the belt, mm -hmm. he is always in denim. And there is plenty of denim here. As a matter of fact, American Apparel is doing a new heavy denim, yeah. which you can wear pants, you can wear the jacket, you can wear the shirt, but for the top, you've got the classic t-shirt. It's like less is more. Okay? It always is, and especially with someone who is as handsome as Hugh Jackman. Look at that, look how good he looks, too. Evangeline Lily is talking French behind me. It's super hot on the velvet red carpet. Take a look. Tell us about your look, not only tonight, but your look off camera. I really like style, but I, I just really don't like to put a lot of time and attention into it. I never do my hair. I rarely put on makeup. I, I wear things that I think are fun and comfortable, but if they're not comfortable, then forget it. The only time I'm uncomfortable is on a night like tonight, and I go, okay, I can sacrifice for a night. But still, my dress always has to feel like pajamas. It's the shoes that are uncomfortable. Evangeline Lily, how about her? Well, that's right, her look is exactly that. Girl next door, beachy, bohemian. Evangeline is someone who never goes too far over the top. That's what I love about her. It's also a look that American Apparel does so well. For instance, this little button down I have right here, 
so sheer, so gorgeous. It can be classy or you can really play with it, dress it down. What I love to use is the bikini top. Together? You, yes, okay. you put it right underneath. It kind of plays down this nice little button up mm -hmm. or you could do the classic American apparel bandeau. I'm thinking Great cocktails, look. margaritas, very, you know, knock around. On the beach, yeah. on Great. the beach, just very fun. And as a bottom option, you can do the classic jean short or this great high-waisted skirt that I've seen Evangeline wearing quite a bit. And as an option to the white top there, you've got this casual sweater that you can toss off the shoulder. You look like the girl next door. That's what she does well. The it kid in Hollywood right now, Dakota Goyo. I mean, he's young Thor, and now he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hugh Jackman in Real Steel. Nigi Hidani. Oh, what was that? Was that Japanese? Apokato Nikai. How the hell do you know Japanese? Video games. Which of these robots is going to be the biggest seller you think around the holidays? Make the prediction. Make it a prediction. I'm guessing Adam, because he's got a heart and you'll start to fall for him. You'll start to feel for him. So a 12-year-old, when he's not on the red carpet, when he's casual, he wants to be comfortable. Sure. So of course, these are three things that American Apparel does so well, and they do it in great colors. Not that a 12-year-old cares, but the block color scheme is really hot right now. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go bright, this is the way to go. They've got these fantastic alphabet tees, D for Dakota. You've got the <laughs> flannel in all kinds of wonderful colors, and of course, the hoodies, which feel how soft that is. Nice. And of course, you've got the bright, bright colors. Sure. This is what a 12-year-old would live in off the red carpet. Perfect. So get access to the hottest Hollywood events, the biggest celebrities, and amazing deals exclusively at velvetredcard.com.